Talk to Miami football. We got Kevin Fielder on the line from State of the U. You know Kim Underwood, of course. You got Kevin as well. And on the staff there at State of the U, so check them out for the best in Miami sports coverage. Talking football here, of course. All right, we're headed towards spring practice about a month away, something in that range. Uh, the running back position will be minus Travis Homer, who is declared for the NFL draft. So we will he- see him at the NFL Combine uh, in just a few days. Uh, he ran for almost 1,000 yards, was obviously the number one back. DJ Dallas, a guy that uh, proved to be pretty formidable the last two seasons, as long as he wasn't fumbling, and that uh, turned out to be his downfall uh, midway through the season and on. Cam Davis stepped in and performed favorably, and he, the lesser of the two recruits going into 2018, of course, Lorenzo Lingard having all the hype surrounding him. So it seemed to be a young inexperienced stable of running backs, but a lot of excitement there. Yeah, it's definitely a really good running back class. Uh, I like, I, I definitely like DJ Dallas. He's one of the most electrifying players on the Hurricanes offense. He can do it through the air. He can do it on the ground. He, 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 uh, he can even throw the football in the Wildcat if you need him to. Uh, the one I'm really excited about is Lorenzo Lingard. Had a season cut short last season. Uh, you, you definitely hate to see that for someone like him. If he can come back healthy, I think someone like Danny knows who's done it with a lot of really good running backs. While, uh, while at Alabama, you had Najee Harris last year, Damian Harris last year. You had Josh Jacobs, who uh, is the best running back in this NFL draft. And I think definitely you could see a situation where Lingard definitely becomes that number one early in the season. Uh, Cam Davis, is, I think, is a just insane player. Uh, last season, he had a few really long runs, especially one against Virginia Tech that definitely changed that game. Uh, and then obviously... Losing Homer is going to be a huge issue. Homer was definitely the guy who just kind of stepped in and did his job. He was never going to give you a 250-year game or give you a whole bunch of uh, work through the air. But I think when you have someone like Homer who can just kind of go out there and do his job, then it allows guys like DJ Dallas and allows guys like Lorenzo Lingard to definitely get involved and become more electrifying. This season, they're going to need to find someone who can just carry the workload because you can't just keep having these electrifying guys who will get maybe you know two yards or they get 80. Uh, you, they need they need to find someone who can just get five, six yards and definitely just keep drives going because the issue last year was that they couldn't get yards through the air, and a lot of times they just struggled on the ground. 